What's up, brats? Let's get this show on the road. Just wanted to give you a heads up. This video is going to get a little mean, but it's all in good fun. Just, just let it go there, okay? I'm the one that'll get in trouble, not you. I don't know if you know this, but I made a video on Nicholas Borbaki that's kind of a big deal. I mean, again, you, you may have heard of it, you may not. You can go watch it if you want. So the cool thing about that video um, is that it's on a public website, which means that people can leave whatever kind of comment they want. And as a psychology major, it's endlessly fascinating what people will say. As a human being, it's terrifying. First things first is how many people left comments about my cat. Oh my gosh, did you see the cat? Yeah, you and like a hundred thousand other people. He wasn't hard to miss. He wasn't like some Easter egg in the back of the video. Can't find the cat punching video. It's right here. Punch him. Punch him. Ooh. Also, people left a lot of comments about things I already said. Blurry face is not Tyler. Blurry face is Nico. And who is blurry face? Nico. Did you watch the video? At all? If you were around at all during the blurry face era, you would know that blurry face is Tyler. It's just a part of Tyler. Tyler confirmed in an interview that Nicholas Borbaki is blurry face. Yeah, I said that. Are you just providing bullet points for people who didn't want to actually watch the whole video? Like you're the Spark Notes guy? Which a lot of people asked for that. They're like, can I get the Spark Notes version of this? The video is 17 minutes long. I know most of you are like 15 years old, but if you get to college, you have to sit through like an hour and a half long lecture that you don't get to watch again. You get one chance and you have to take notes during it and then take a test on it. You can't sit through 17 minutes of me talking about a band. You need the Spark Notes version? Fake fan. Also, again, another one of my favorite kind of comments were the people who needed to appear intelligent by commenting on the quality of the video. There's no such thing as a compliment on the internet anymore. It's mostly just backhanded compliments. I don't usually subscribe to channels, but a channel like this needs to be noticed. Thank you. You could have stopped there, but you didn't. It may not be the best quality, but the content is amazing. You could have just stopped it. This channel needs to be noticed. Like, oh, thank you. But no, you have to be, yeah, it may not be the best quality. Where are your YouTube videos? You probably typed this from an Android phone and you want to talk to me about quality. Very awesome video. Thank you. Could have left it at that, but did he? No. I think next time you should make it a little more polished and higher quality. Not hating on it. <laughs> that's a cop out. Saying something negative and be like, but I'm not hating. That's like, no offense, but then say something offensive or I'm not racist, but no. If you have to preface it with I'm not racist, but it's probably gonna be racist. I want this channel to grow and become more public. Keep on keeping on. Like again, you could have just said the nice things. A little more polished and higher quality. This isn't a Steven Spielberg movie. This is a 22 year old person sitting in front of a camera making a YouTube video about a band. I, I apologize, I forgot to spend a thousand dollars on lighting equipment when I'm literally twenty thousand dollars in debt from college, but no, go off, I guess. Here's a video I took right after filming that that just didn't make the final cut. Just finished filming and I went to break down my station. I don't get home from work until like four and it's already dark and it's been raining. So I've had to be a little creative with my lighting situation. <laughs> this is my lamp with a curtain, like a cut up curtain from when my mom would like make curtains. Yeah, like it's just a lamp with this over it to like diffuse the light. Where's my 100,000 subscribers? I've earned it. So if you want higher quality videos, my Venmo is in the description. The way you hold your pen bothers me, but good video. How else do you hold a pen? That's how you write. That one did hurt my feelings a little bit. I mean, am I supposed to, you know? Of all the things to make fun of, at least go after my handwriting. Like that's atrocious and I'll, I'll admit that right now. Man, I can't find anything wrong with this video, but I can't just, can't just compliment her. I have to, to stand out, so I have to say something mean. The way she holds her pen. She needs to know she holds her pen weird. Also, a lot of people commented about the Borbaki group trying to prove God. It's fake news. It was said in like a Reddit post a while back, but there is no confirmation from a legitimate source saying that that's true. That just didn't happen. All of the guys in the group were atheists, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Andre, Andre Well? If that's how you say his name. The guy with the, the zero and the slash, that, the guy, you know? He was an atheist for sure, so that is fake news next. Clickin't trying to keep up. Okay, so Clancy is Nico, Nico isn't Tyler because Clancy is Tyler and Dima, but in Dima he is Josh and Jason Satham is... 
What? The song Nico and the Niners reminds me of Tyler having really bad depression and trying to call out for help from his fans, you know, because he saved so many of his fans, he wants his fans to decode his message to see how good his fans are, you know? Like, if you listen to the lyrics, it's I'm higher when I'm heavy, it kind of reminds me of the fact that Tyler might want to hang himself. Oh my gosh! That is so dark! It ain't that deep, fam. He's okay. Can I just take a minute to talk about how, how much it frustrates me when I see people acting like they know Tyler and Josh on like a more intimate level. They like, they've never met them in real life but they're on the same wavelength, right? Tyler can look tired in an interview, and people are like, OMG, he's depressed again, my poor baby, I wanna hug him, ew, ew. Y'all, he's tired. Homie's on tour and stays up all night, like, it's okay. I love how Josh Dunn has nothing to do with any of this. Josh is valid and loved and important, but he was not the point of the video. The point was the lyrics, and Tyler writes the lyrics. Okay, guys, so in clear off regional best, yeah, I'm not reading all of that. Small correction in the play, All My Sons, um, the plane engineer knowingly sells faulty airplane parts to the Air Force in order to provide for his family. You can pause the video and go back and read that whole comment. Um, I'm not gonna re, re I'm not gonna read the whole thing out loud right now. But they make a valid point, and, um, from the bottom of my heart, my bad. I should have had a better understanding of the play. I just kind of was going off the cuff with that. I really didn't look that much into it. I should have before I made a whole video where I talk about it a lot. But that's the internet for you. People talking a lot about things they have no clue about, so. You look aggressively homosexual. I know nothing about you, but you are just making my gaydar go off the roof. But the last time I thought someone was gay, I talked to them and they were aggressively straight, so. I'm not even sure what this means. I can understand someone thinking I'm gay, I guess, but aggressively homosexual. Aggressively homosexual. I'm very straight, so your gaydar is pretty off on that. So finally, the cream of the crop, people who think they're better than me and need to make sure that I know it. Taken too far, everything is not everything, everyone is not everyone, it's all Tyler. It's what I said. This was all over the place. Yeah, it was. It was almost like it was just a crack video about a band and not a collegial presentation. It's a YouTube video. It's not that deep, guys. You copied this. I read this theory on Reddit like a month ago. All right, well, I'm not on Reddit, so whoever came up with it before me, congrats, but I didn't see it. I... Great minds think alike, I guess. I think this is the best one because I got multiples of these, but I only pulled this one example because I wasn't going to scroll through 2,000 comments to find all of them. LOL, my family figured that out like a month ago. People who need to make sure you know they're better than you because they found out first but didn't tell anybody. So you knew before me? Good for you. Where's your YouTube video? Where's your Reddit post explaining all of this? You're just gonna keep all that valuable information to yourself? Apparently a lot of people in the comments had no idea. Apparently I said something that some people hadn't heard before. But no, you're just gonna, you're just gonna keep that close to the vest. And then when someone else says it, you're like, ah, excuse me. I knew about that first. When science finally finds the cure to cancer, are you gonna burst into the laboratory and be like, um, excuse me, uh, I found out first, but I just didn't say anything? Like, this is the kid that transfers from private school to public school, needs to assert their dominance by making sure all the kids know that they learned this same thing a year ago, but, like, that same person's not gonna help anybody. They're not gonna tutor anybody, they're just gonna make sure you know, I'm smarter than you, I'm better than you, and it's gonna stay that way. You're just solidifying your status as the person no one likes. <laughs> this was really mean. I got really mean, and, um, had a lot of fun doing it. So in the beginning of the video I said, what's up, brats, and, like, all of my favorite YouTubers have a name for their fan base, and, you know, as large as my fan base is in comparison to them, I thought, might as well jump on the bandwagon now, um, since I'm just blowing up with success. I already have a million dollars from AdSense, if you can't tell. This ring was about $20,000. It's, it's genuine moonstone from the actual moon. I figured I should go ahead and just, and just name you guys. Just go ahead and get that solidified. So, I was thinking about the balloon situation, and... I was gonna just say the balloons, but like, that's lame. And I was gonna call you rats, because you guys ruined my 100 subscriber special by subscribing way too fast, making me blow up 300 balloons, and then before I could even post the stupid thing, it was at a thousand. So I was gonna call you little rats, because you're little rats, you ruined my video. As far as like, branding goes, rats just, you know, the day I finally released a ton of merch, rats don't really look cute, so. Balloons combined with rats. Brats. So I decided to call you guys brats, because you are little brats, but like, in an enduring way. I call myself a brat. We're all brats around here, so if you're subscribed, you're a brat. We're a little bratty around here. If you're not subscribed, then you're a rat. Is that too mean? No. It's just mean enough, I think. That's the title of my autobiography. Just mean enough. I hope this was worth all the time I wasted on it instead of actually doing work I do get paid for because I actually am not getting paid for YouTube yet. I've met the requirements, but there's like a... You have to process your information and that can 
take, quote, a month or so. I don't know what that means. I'm way further ahead now than I even thought I would be. I didn't think I would start making money from this for a couple years, so the fact that it could happen in three months is still incredible, still way faster. Um, and I promise to not flex too hard on you guys. Hey, did you ever get rid of all those balloons? Yeah, of course I got rid of them. Did you really? Yes. Open your closet. I don't want to open my closet. Why can't you just open your closet? I don't need to open my closet. What's Why do you want to know what's just in my open closet? the closet? Why do you care so much you about what's in my closet? There's no need to open my closet. Open my closet. Open. You're so being closet. really weird about my closet. On, it's it's actually closet. You're being really weird about my closet. The, it's actually an invasion of privacy door. and I'd appreciate it if you would just back off. There's no need. Fine, I'll open the closet. You know you have to take, take them, them out, out to the trash. Them. What? I didn't say. Did... What? You know what? Just whatever you want. Just take. Just take them out and shoot them. Just. Right. You know. Are they bouncing off? Point blank. It bounces off. Ow! <laughs> Crap! A whole video idea. A whole freaking idea. Just in the garbage. This is the worst. All right, well, I legitimately had this really cool idea in my head where I was gonna go through like a whole shooting montage of me like taking dive rolls and stuff and shooting these balloons and the pellets bounce off of them. So once again, what I do for subscribers blows up in my face. I don't regret naming you brats. This is such a bratty thing for you guys to do. Just ruin all my good ideas. Um, I wonder if I can light them on fire. Give me one minute. I'm about to go straight bandito on these balloons. Using a smoke bomb, because I don't have like an actual flame thing, so. Oh, So uh, they uh, spread all through my yard, which is freaking sweet. Freaking bueno. Ah. I made a huge mistake. I cleaned it up. <sighs> For any of you who care about that kind of stuff. I had to walk around this whole yard, around my house, and around my neighbor's houses, but I believe I got all of it. Um, it's biodegradable and recyclable, so it's fine. It's fine. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. All right, brats. I don't have a clever outro for this video. Um, God, I'm an idiot. Hey Siri, what are the early stages of lung cancer?